Adochon. My name is Esther Elia and I am an artist. I got my Bachelor's of Fine Arts at California College of the Arts in San Francisco in illustration and I'm currently getting my Master's of Fine Arts in painting at uh, the University of New Mexico. I hope through the art that I make that I can tell our stories. Um, that's what I'm interested in and that's what it's all about for me, uh, especially when it comes to connecting our past and our present and envisioning through imagery what our future could look like. Um, so I'm thinking about who we are in this present moment and what we offer to the world. Recently, I went on a homeland trip with Gishru to Northern Iraq, uh, where I was really, really grateful and thrilled to be able to um, paint a one day mural in the village of Nala with the help of other Gishru participants and um, locals from the village. Um, and it was a really special, opportunity to think about how through this mural and through this um, uh, chance to put imagery on a wall in Iraq, how I could start to uh, bring back imagery from that land um, and from our ancient stone reliefs, uh, many of which now reside in museums in the Western world, and um, think about if these images could return to their homeland, just like I was doing, how would they have changed? Um, what would they look like now? And so I decided to do a sort of uh, like contemporary rendering of what some of our deities might look like. So on the gate is uh, Shamash and Ishtar, um, and like the symbol for scene, and um, it has lions on either side guarding these gates and placed back in the landscape that they originally came from and belong in. project I'm currently working on is for my master's thesis exhibition, uh, which is happening in this coming spring. Uh, and it's another effort of mine to look into our art history and take inspiration from it. And so I've been studying these bowls um, from our past with writing all in the interior, kind of circular. Um, and they're bowls that um, artisans would make and give to Assyrian priests who would then um, write on them for people in their communities. And um, what was written inside was usually for physical healing or spiritual protection from like demonic forces. And so 
so it inspired me to create similar objects, but instead of prayers for physical healing, I thought to myself, how can, um, how can our words provide community healing? So I decided to try and collect, open it up to our community and collect as many contemporary prayers from Assyrians to, that I'm going to write on bowls um, in a way that references this object from our history, but speaks to our current community. What's interesting about the old bowls that um, we used to make is that when they were studied and translated in like the mid 1900s, it provided this really, really cool specific snapshot of that time um, and what the needs of the people were based on what they were praying for. So. For my project, I'm asking for people to submit prayers, um, kind of like prayers from the heart, stories, or poetry around the theme, what do you hope for the Assyrian nation? Um, in Assyrian, mudi bayetun ka umtan, or bot mudi itlochun saara ka umtan. In this way, I'm hoping to document our current hopes and fears for our people in a way that creates a similar kind of cultural time capsule of who we are as a nation in this moment in time. I'm hoping to gather as many prayers as possible that will be written on bowls um, that I'm making out of clay as art objects and that the future exhibition of these bowls would include uh, voice audio recordings of each person also speaking what they submitted. Um, and in that way, I'm envisioning this space where these bowls are in, in this exhibition, um, that where people can see who we are on, on these bowls with our words. Um, they can hear who we are through these audio recordings and just kind of experience it an all encompassing um, Assyria. I see this also as an important opportunity for us to document our own thoughts and in that way, our own histories instead of others doing it for us. This project is called the Assyrian Prayer Bowl Archive, and um, you can find more information about it at www.prayerbowlarchive.com or follow us on Instagram. Um, I'm partnering with Diana Atoreta, uh, who has been a really big help in this project. And um, we're also on Instagram at, at Prayer Bowl Archive. <music> to um, show some of these bowls at convention 
and I am so grateful for Assyrian Arts Institute for inviting me uh, to talk about these projects, to show at convention, and um, hopefully I will see you there. Thank you so much. Push, push, push.